Hello, welcome to Quackalo. Thank you for being here. We are finally digging into Endless Winter Paleo Americans from Fantasia Games. This was on my list of games that I didn't know where it was and I was eagerly anticipating for the new year. Everyone yeah. had put it on their best of 2022 and I could not put it on my best of 2022. We were at like the I hadn't very received it yet. back end of getting it in. Yes. And so we are excited to announce that we finally have our copy in and give you guys an unboxing, a very late unboxing. Very late unboxing, but we're excited about it. I wanted to show Sheer, you, yeah. you actually haven't seen the final components of this. I was looking at the outside of the box and remembering the prototype form that I played back in the day and like seeing how different it has come. And by the way, you never played uh, not Uncharted Mind, the, the the newest game from Unconscious them. Mind. Unconscious Mind. I know, and I'm so Holy excited cow. because Unconscious Mind delves into the mental health. West and I would be health. happy to play that prototype with you. It's the Freudian, oh, and it's man. got. I saw so many videos about it, and I cannot wait to have that final copy. And I want to play the prototype. Yeah, it looks so cool, and it's so up my alley. Euro. Insanely goodness. Yeah, it's it's very clicky, very good. But Fantasia Games has Endless Winter. This is the one that first put them on our radar. I believe this might be their first game. I'm not entirely sure about that. I do have this little expansion pack here, but it's for Endless Winter as well. So I assume so. Uh, this is going to be coming from Stan. Same guy that uh, designed Resurgence, Resurgence I know. which you also love. I love Resurgence. And it's the only bag builder to this day that only, I like. <laughs> the only bag builder she has liked. Yes. Uh, art by the Miko. Yeah. who you also absolutely love because it's you're talking the, Kingdoms of Valeria. Yeah, Valeria card kingdoms, yeah. yeah, and all that whole genre, which we just played some this weekend. And so. for me, this being a worker placement deck builder, deck building being one of my favorite mechanics of all time, it really, really sung. This is one that's compared to and competes with Lost Ruins of Arnak, which came out the same year this was a prototype yeah. form. Came out with uh, Dune Imperium, which again, this was prototype. Those two were finished copies. So everyone was waiting, kind of pining to get this in, uh, in anticipation of that. I'm and gonna for go ahead me, and... it's a Euro, which means it is points and trying to generate the most you can do and do the best you can do. And I'm super excited about that. You opening up the mat first? Yeah, we've got a play mat here. So we'll go ahead and stretch this out and take a look at how it looks. Nice quality play mat, no wrinkle or anything to it. I just had a play mat come in that was uh, completely wrinkled, like unplayable wrinkled when it arrived. So we're gonna have our card zones down here. You're gonna have the map that you're building out. Technically, I think this should be more like this, yeah. but it's so it's so massive, it's hard to tell. You wanna go ahead and grab the box over here? Let's take a look at the components. This is gonna be like a silly little quick unboxing, just chatting with you, getting excited about it, uh, celebrating the fact that we've actually received it, and then moving on so that we can begin playing it. By the way, I've got this little uh, pack of cards here, Ceremonial Grounds. Keep those on your side. Oh, nice. So these are just going to be the, like different, different custom little burial ground cards that have their own unique uh, mechanic as well. Sweet. Nice little card pack. These are going to be the deluxe upgraded components. These they are going to be the fantastic. resin components. All right. Endless winter. Yeah, these look really nice. Solo mode! This game might be coming with me, and here's that it's announcing Unconscious Mind. Unconscious Mind. Oh, mm -hmm. so good. Full back on this, Keep by this, the way. Keep this, because this is going how... Aggressive how full back. Let me see the rule book here while you... Uh... Your solo mode? No, I don't. I want the rule book. Uh, I was about to find mode. the flavor text. Well, all right, we both were going for the same thing. I'll dig into the box then while yes. you read flavor text. Overview. Endless Winter Paleo-Americans takes place in North America around 10,000 BCE. Players guide the development of their tribes across several generations, from nomadic hunter-gatherers to prosperous to prosperous societies. Over the course of the games, tribes can migrate and settle new lands, establish cultural traditions, hunt megafauna, and build everlasting megaliths. And here are the various chiefs. <clears throat> Chief Tuskbreaker. He is master of spear and axe. His scarred flesh is hard as stone. His hands strong, his eyes cold. His people fear no beast. Chief Thunderpaw, feet on the ground, rooted in wisdom, she carries her tribe with slow, rumbling power. Her confidence is a force unto itself, radiating, radiating strength from the fire within. Chief Looking Hand, life and death, earth, sky, and spirit. All things are seen by him. He knows many guides, just as he is a guide to his people. Chief Chiselstone, she knows the souls of rock. She, who sees what is within the stone, ready to be born, wise and sure of hand, a mother to her people and their tools. Chief of Firewolf. He that scales the untouched peaks, who runs with wolves as his brothers. No path eludes him. No trek is insurmountable for his hardy band. So, sure. These are these are the five factions that you're going to be playing as with the five colors, etc. Inserts upon inserts. Mm -hmm. 
which Yay! is awesome because it's going to be as easy yeah. as possible to open up and get down to the table. Yeah. Uh, I'll go ahead and we can. We this can is, I believe, the, so this is the player board. Dual sided, dual sided player boards here. Yeah. So dual you have layered. The, dual layered. Yeah, you're going to have the. Uh, are they dual sided? They're not dual sided. Dual layered player board, which is nice, is going to be how you're actually tracking the resources, the settlement, the all the extra little additions that you get as your own tribe. This would be your board if you did not have. But the we mat. have the map that goes down. You're going to have all the tiles that you're going to be punching. Yeah, if you so wanted to look at the rule book. One of the things that I don't need to look at the rule book. We're just opening it up. One of the things that I was excited about this is the fact that with the mat, everything feels a little bit more cohesive than it does as individual little modules. Because this is a game with a lot of little buttons. It's got. To press. It's all, a lot of different pieces that go in different areas. Well, they care enough about the yeah. inside that some artwork yeah. there yeah these are going to be your areas that you're going to be placing down and so they look really cool yeah, these are places, like, you You have this combination of a little bit of area control where you're exploring, a little bit of uh, settlement building where you're getting the people that are going to be working, a little bit of construction where you're actually building out your tribe and your resources, uh, you have journeys that you're going on. There's just, there's a whole swath of different ways that you can explore the mechanics of this game. Yeah. And... With all these extra little expansions we have, we have stuff that we've actually never experienced in the prototype version ourselves. Because all we really had in the prototype version was some version of the base game. Now, funny thing is, I they gave us wooden components and they gave us resin components. And this might be one of the only situations where I actually like the resin more than I like the wooden components. Because I'm a big fan of wooden components overall. I'm resin. But I'm these resin, resin are, the are, are very well made. I like well the made. fact that they're like good. They feel engraved. Little uh, worker placement people. Yeah. You see our tribe leaders here. I like the wash they did. It looks like bone. Yeah. So uh, very nice, nice quality wash on that. It does. We have our little. Uh, it's really nice. Little animal markers as opposed to the other little chits. Oh, this looks okay. great. What's this that? expansion offers variant decks for each type of tribe and animal card, advanced chieftain cards, and two new highly interactive cultural card modules. Prosperity and Strife. So, deck building upgrade. It's gonna mix in here. We don't need to pull out all the cards or anything like that. We'll get it all sorted ourselves. But, is this a little mammoth? What is this? You wanna check that? I wanna check who's in here. Yeah! Oh man! Oh man! Look at him! <laughs> He's so cute! Look at him! Hi, <laughs> mammoth guy. That's He's adorable. so cute! That's adorable. Oh. All right, what else do we have? What are these other little modules? I know Shira's going to be taking the time to get all this organized. These are, these are so. the directions for him. <laughs> They're adorable. He's, he's first rate. He's a first rate mammoth. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. We have Rivers and Rafts expansion. This expansion adds new river tiles and landmark pieces to the train board. Players paddle the raft down the waterways, catch fish, and compete to have the most influence over the map with its many new features. So this is going to be uh, upgrading the actual features of the board this itself. This is what I remembered. You put pieces on top of each other and it so was like... So that's when like you're the... building your monument. It was a puzzle. That's, that's when you're building your monument. That's not this. This is going to be doing the actual exploration side of the board. Uh -huh. So you're actually going to have rivers that you can go down, it looks like. You're going to have new mountain area tiles. Everything looks so new different. New resources to collect. You have uh, volcanoes Tree. and glaciers yeah. and trees, more Landmarks. cards for people. Uh, what is this piece? Some big black thing. It's a landmark. Big old landmark. Five landmarks. Okay, cool. So like a unknown plinth is one of those. Yeah. And then we have one last expansion, expansion. which is going to be the cave paintings expansion. Uh, let's see what this does. So I'm very excited that this looks like it organizes so well together because yeah, I mean, Shira's going to shove it all back into the game box. Look at this. It gives you exactly how to put it all together. And it gives you an expansion tray nice. to put the expansions in. Cave painting expansion. So let's see here. Uh, what does this do? I should, I should flip this over. This expansion brings new action to the game, cave paintings. Players use dry erase boards to fill in spaces, draw lines, and unlock a variety of immediate and ongoing effects. Plus, after each game, the boards look unique, like you look like unique animals. So this is a dry erase module. Look at this. Yeah, nice. That's so cool. Dry erase module added into the game with your own unique little animal that you're filling in and coloring in. Yeah, there's a mammoth. There's, I believe, a bear. Nice. A wolf. That's cool. I have to imagine they're going to be bringing this back to a crowdfunding platform again. I have to imagine yeah. there's expansions in the work yeah. or a reprint happening, uh, especially with the success that they saw with uh, Endless Mind, okay. Unconscious Mind. Unconscious Mind. Unconscious Mind. I always think of, uh, I combine them now. Endless Winter, Unconscious Mind. Especially with Unconscious the Winter, Endless Mind. Yeah, ex especially with the success that they had on this. Yeah. Um, very, very, very thrilled about what Fantasia Games is working on. Yeah. 
there you have it. We just wanted to open it up. We wanted to showcase it. We wanted to talk about it a little bit. Honestly, we wanted to get to the point where Shira could learn it and get a table so we can bring Organize you some content yeah. at some point down the road. Full review, something like that. So, thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. Whatever the case, whatever you do, remember to do the important thing. Get out and play some games. Especially Unconscious Mind. We'll see you next time. Bye.